punch you through. After this, you can go. You're a free man. Bad thing. Bad. Decontamination code. Well, that didn't work out well for him, apparently. Huh. Hey, everybody. Jimmy, Jimmy Rackle here. Welcome back to Max Payne. Last time we were shooting our way through this old, like, metal foundry that's like a some sort of base, some sort of criminal activity. And, uh, trying to find that one lady that gave us a massive dose of that Valkyrie stuff. We somehow managed to come out of pretty, pretty fine. There we go. Don't get myself killed that time again. Oops. That was the wrong button. Okay. So. Oh! Oh! Okay. Been a few days since I played, so I don't remember what I was. Probably I go this way. I don't even know. I don't remember this. <laughs> Alright. Open that. Open, open that. This one doesn't open. Um. Hmm? What's that noise? I don't remember. Remember? Ah, uh, I don't remember. Rem remember what I was doing, where I was going, or anything. Um, did I get up there? I don't remember. So I haven't really stopped playing for. Oh, oh man, I fell down. There. He surprised me. Isn't there another guy? I thought there was another guy that came. Jeez. Guess not, guess there's just the one. Ah. So I don't, don't even remember this. Basically, I remember is getting to that other room with the mine there and then ending, so. Come on. Make it. There we go. Sort of like figure out how to rem remember how to play this game. Nah, okay. Didn't think so. You can kind of tell because usually certain doors have like a certain look. Like this one uh, has looks like that. You can open it. That one looks very different, so you cannot open that one. The monitor showed me the way. Okay, I do need this actually. I just remember having to jump up on there like that in a very awkward way. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, has rows of ovens in the core of the plant. There was another guy, wasn't there? Two of them? There wasn't. Okay then. Mm. The painkillers. Make sure we check what's in here. Okay. Go, go, 
go, go! Okay, I'm stuck on that. Ah! Alright. That step door doesn't open. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm still kind of, um, generally unsure of, like, what even is going on. I feel like the story. It's got a lot of story, I feel like. With, like, it's, like, comic book style, like, cutscenes and everything, but I don't, uh,. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, yeah, but I feel like like overall, it doesn't like necessarily tell the story that well. So I'm kind of left a little bit confused as to like why these things have been happening, why I've been going like doing these things and. and Part about there's the uh, drug Valkyrie stuff and um this guys over high on that stuff killed his family and um And he went out of cover, and then he was like, got contact from someone who need, need to go show him something. Then that guy got killed. And he got blamed for it. It's so like now he's just doing things to like take down the Valkyrie drug operation while also trying to like find evidence. Also trying to like prove that he's innocent or whatever. And. But. I get the basic plot that you kind of like, you get a grasp of like, early game. Oh, okay. But, whoa. This seems like a safety hazard. But, however, it's like, overall, Like specifics of why I'm like going after certain people and done certain things since that point is kind of unclear. I don't know what Punchinello and all these other guys had to do with anything. I know they were the ones probably you know running the running the whole operation and everything, but just it just sort of like feels like uh, like a like a big series of things happening. Yeah, I figure I should. Yeah. So. We might have some point. Look up like a an overall plot summary and. Um, Like read up on like a plot summary and kind of get a understanding of like what's really happened and why these things happen. Oh, that was. Okay. 
turn it off so I can wait. Why? So I can get the sniper rifle? I already have a sniper rifle. I already have a sniper rifle. I can just get more ammo for some rifle, I guess. Just kind of the point of that. Like, I don't know. What is this? All right, yeah, that's a grenade launcher. I forgot that I had that. I forgot that was a thing. I forgot all about that. just waiting for me so he can just do his fancy roll. Looks familiar. Was I? I don't think I was in this room. I think I was in another room similar to this one. Oh. Oh. I think I like meant to come up here. Cause it's like a platform thing to get up here. Heal. Open this one. I don't know if that got me or not. Oh, great. Okay. It's one of these time things where I gotta wait for elevator shock, so I gotta fight my way through. Oh, hi. Never mind. They were in the elevator. I thought they were come through there. I was confused there. <laughs> okay. I was confused there. I didn't realize. <laughs> okay. I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Okay. Following the path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. Well, you can't do this. What is My this? My men are still inside. Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? Dead eyes. <laughs> I think he's dead already. Let's do it. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Laboratory? Evacuate the complex immediately. What? Repeat. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Oops. Okay, did this just become Silent Hill? Not Silent Hill. Wrong thing. Resident Evil. That's what I meant to say. I don't know why it's I'd seen the logo on the floor before. It's become Resident Evil. 
What, what, what was even going on in there this game? There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the oh. military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla. V for Valkyr. V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Okay. Abort! Abort! The self-destruction sequence has been a- Okay. It certainly has seemed to have gotten weird all of a sudden. So... Yeah. It's quite a twist there, did. The self destruction sequence has been initiated. So it seems Seems the Valkyrie stuff is something that was made by some secret government like project in a bunker underneath a steel mill. Yeah. Okay. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect it to go to here, that's for sure. Definitely um, in a direction I never expected. Although, at one point, early on, it was like, so sort I of thought there was like some sort of actual supernatural thing going on or something, but. No. Like everything else in the Valkyrie case, the door code was a mystery to me. Anything interesting back here? Nope. Don't know why that space even exists there then. chemist had been using the workstation when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast. <laughs> yeah. Decontamination in progress. Oh. Decontamination completed. What? So, uh... Okay. Hmm. Scientists. Thanks. I thought I was gonna die in there for sure. Attention I need you to get me through the decontamination chamber airlock. You're crazy. No way. The place is blowing up for crazy. Either that or back to the cell. Your choice. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Where'd he go? Was this guy already here or was that the guy? I'm confused. He just ran off, he's gonna be there.
Where are the Where are the freaking did you guys come from? Where'd you appear out of? Oh there he is. Where were you hiding? What what the what? Hmm. Get in! I'll punch you through. After this you can go. You're a free man. Bad thing. Bad. Well, that didn't work out well for him, apparently. <sighs> huh. So is... So it's like Valkyr... That is actually like part of Project Valkyrie thing. Is, is this like... Is this actually like like some sort of like a super serum for creating like... Superhumans or something? What? what? Or what, what is this? This is weird. I was caught in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyrie case. Oh god. Really? Okay. Great. It's like that storage room in Half-Life. Okay. Somehow something One happened and I survived that. Had the project logo on the screen. It's just like there's a it just for some reason I tripped it and exploded and nothing happened. I didn't get hurt hurt at all. So you know, I'm fine with that. Top secret. Project Valhalla. U.S. Army. Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla, the otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever. Their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Oh, Valkyr, yeah. the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991, the research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995, yeah. results unsatisfactory. Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Hmm. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Hmm. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. The dagger healed woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. So I didn't get hurt again again that time. That one's moving. What is even Okay. So I guess that explains why those guys were there and why they attacked my family. Or why they attacked Max, Max Payne's family and killed them. It was all apparently all part of a process to get Max Payne involved in Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Is Max Payne some sort of actually some sort of like tough subject? Self-destruction imminent. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 
Barely made that. Yeah, it's like, is it certain? I was like, is Max Payne actually some sort of test subject and he's like, has like some sort of. That's the reason why the grave is there, like, you see the explosion. This, okay. Is that like maybe supposed to be like, like, can it be like explanations of why you like seem to have these like abilities to like, these, these super reflexes and like to slow down, like, ability that he seems to have? Like where we see things slow down, it's because he got super reflexes. You can do the dodging and stuff. You piece together a jigsaw, and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her. Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. Hmm. Okay. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else. Any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night. On the streets of that other city. Noir York City. I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxi, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the choir communications garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match. All way beyond a cop's pay. Maxie. Oozing suave charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that. Have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge. You have no idea. Mm-hmm. I think I do. You're a bribe-taking bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. Nice car texture. Go, go. Yeah. I couldn't tell yeah, from like the take. A cowardly right hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. You know, it's like I saw him like in the actual game, you could tell it was the same. Yeah, that was a guy that like, because Max couldn't see him, but we saw him in the cutscenes. So. Around, make sure I don't miss anything useful. I don't think that does anything.
That's it. Well, okay. Some very strange things have happened, and... Yeah. I sort of have, like, my theories now from it. That looks funny. That look this doesn't look right. It just looks like you just use too big of a section and you just place it on top of this one. Like, that'll work. That'll be fine. It just looks odd. It's very odd. But <sighs> what is that? What is that line? What what it what are you I feel like those are like something that's wrong with the skybox. Those very weird lines are like in the distance. That's very strange. Huh. Alright, well anyway. But yeah. Some very strange strange things have happened. And now we're like on on the trail of who's responsible for killing Alex and blaming us for it. And now we have to chase him down. That'll be next time, so uh, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe to so my videos. Until next time, see ya!